Well, hello guys, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate you guys watching and being part of the Joe Boost Day Job. You'll recall I was doing these bookcases in the workshop, and we made these so they're custom to fit the space. You can see the big base molding that's in here um, that we actually took out at the moment to make this fit. Now, before we go through and we're going to take that molding, it's going to run across. You see we have the two bookcases. Now, this one's actually 56, this one's 54. The window's not exactly centered. But what we did is we increased the size of them to try and make sure that we had just a little bit of space here and we kept this equal distance on both sides. And we'll go through and we'll caulk all this when we do our final piece. We do need to do one other part to this. And what it's gonna be is there's gonna be a window seat here. And we have a piece of wood that's from um, an antique piece that the lady gave me that's going to be the top. It's a dark piece of wood, but we're going to take the bead board and basically make that base box to go right here for it. So we'll come back after we build that, put it in place, and then we will do the molding around the rest of this to make it look really nice. And I think it actually fits in pretty good. When you stand back here and you look at it, um, they'll be able to put pictures and things up underneath of the uh, angle uh, spots on there. They'll be able to sit in here, read to the grandkids and things like that. I think it's actually looking pretty good. Hard to believe that these hands made these, huh? Yeah, nice little detail on the molding and things to match the molding that's already here in the house. So it's little touches like that that actually bring the projects together and make them truly fit. And as you can see, uh, the bead board right here matches the wide bead board that's over there. All right, when we come back the next time, <coughs> we'll get the rest of it in here and the molding on here, and it'll really be finished. Well, hello, good people. So, We've already taken the bookcases over there. There were actually, I have a smaller truck than I used to, and so I can only carry but so much stuff. This is actually the centerpiece. Now, the interesting part of this is, this is a piece um, from a tabletop that's about a 200-year-old tabletop. Uh, the homeowner wanted me to use this for the bench. The only problem with this is, you see how much it's warped. Now, what we don't want to do is, we don't want to try and pull that warp out of it because if we do it may never it may crack it and be worse this is where it's going to be and quite frankly the curve that's on here is actually kind of nice because that's where your butt will sit so what I'm having to do is taking a pencil and I'm marking the curve on here so I can cut it out so that way it'll sit in there just like that curve and when we get there we'll end up cutting this back to uh, meet the bookcases so that way it'll all fit in and then the molding will go around it so i think it's actually going to be pretty nice once it's all done you know i love my cordless tools here this uh, jigsaw very rarely gets used That's much, much better. So, just need to get a little bit more out of the middle. And we'll get it exactly tight. That's good right there. That's good there. 
Okay. All right. And so that's what we're going to end up doing. We got to put a coat of paint on this so that way it'll match the other bookcases and touch up when we get there. I love it. Just need to sand a little bit off of there. And now, we've got the bench to go underneath the window. Let's see if we can get this put in today. All right, good people, we are back and we have our window seat piece that's right here and we have uh, just slid it into it. So that's the box. We're going to take our base molding and that's going to go right up to this and around. So it's definitely looking pretty good right now. It's looking pretty, pretty good. Yeah, that's definitely going to be nice. in there our window bench now we got to cut our molding and we got to attach this so that's the seat um, the people who own the house are really tall um, like six foot one is his wife I think he's six three so we made this actually 20 inches tall um, because it's easier for people to get up from that space all right so all I've got to do now is cut the molding over here 45 degrees, put that on, caulk everything, touch up the paint, and I think it's going to look great. Wow. Okay, so you can get a look now where we took a space that was kind of unusable because of the way the roof line comes down here. But because we built the bookcases down here low... We can put pictures of things on here. We've got the extra bookcase space that's in here, which is great. We took the molding and we carried it on through here. Although I did not run it across the front, I'm gonna check with the homeowner and see if she wants that uh, across the front as well. I'm thinking that I don't, and maybe we'll just put the cord around because you like seeing that beadboard. If we put that 10 inch wide base up there, you'll lose most of that. It'll be lost because at the angle you see it, it's there, but see, it ties it all together. And we ended up using our vibrating cutter to cut the miters over there for our molding to be real, real careful. But I think it's got a great charm. And see, here's the nice thing about what we ended up doing. We took this molding right here and we matched it up with the molding up here. So it ties that together. We also took and it wasn't easy because of the pandemic. See the wide beadboard here on the doors, the wide beadboard here on the cabinets. So as you come back up the steps and see, this is where the stairway is. Uh, the currently the old bookcases are here. They're gonna have to unload those. But when you come up around here, 
And look at this. The way it's framed up draws your eyes outside. And the thing that's kind of funny, because these are oversized bookcases. Um, this one's 55 inches. This one's 51, which made it more difficult because dimensionally the panels come in 48 inches. So we had to cut and splice that together. Also, too, the shelves are longer than what you want. Had I made it into two pieces um, to give ourselves extra support, the problem would be is you would notice that there's a size difference between the two. Because the key on this was to make my reveals have the same spacing on each side. So that way the illusion looks like it's the same but it's two totally different size. So I'm, I'm very, very proud of the way that's come out. Um, the other nice thing is, and it happened by happenstance, this was the lid for something else, but uh, it's about 200 years old. And what's happened is it's gotten a little curve to it. We ended up doing that cut up underneath of this to match that curve. So when you sit here, it's actually perfect for your ass. It took 200 years for it to get that way. But 200 years, it's perfection. I'm Mark Holmes. Well, I hope you enjoy us doing this. And this is truly a one-of-a-kind custom piece. And I'll see you later.